How to play Star Wars the deck building game. Two players, ages. Playtime 30 minutes. Star Wars the deck building game is a strategic head to head two player deck building game where players assume the roles of the Empire and the Rebellion, take turns playing cards, gaining resources, buying and exiling cards, sabotaging and placing bounties on cards in the galaxy, then attacking each other's capital ships and bases. The first player to destroy three of their opponent's bases wins. Components 10 Empire and Rebel Starter Cards 90 Galaxy Cards 10 Outer Rim Pilot Cards 10 Empire and Rebel Base Cards 2 Reference Cards Balance of the Force Track 1 Force Marker 50 Damage Counters and 20 Resource Counters Setup For your first game, each faction will choose the following bases and then put the remaining ones in the box. Rebels Their starter base Dantooine, Hoth, Mon Cala, Celeste, and Yavin 4. Empire their starting base Lothal, Corellia, Coruscant, the Death Star, and Endor. If you're more experienced, you should play the full galaxy mode explained toward the end of this video. Place your starter base face up and the rest face down underneath. Shuffle each of your 10 starter cards and place them face down. Shuffle the 90 galaxy cards, then deal the top 6 in a row in the middle, orienting Empire and Rebel cards toward their respective players. This will be the galaxy row. Place the 10 Outer Rim Pilot cards at the other end. Place the damage and resource cubes right now. Unfold and place the balance of the force track, setting the force marker all the way to the rebel's side. Each player draws the top five cards from their deck. Now you can start the game. Yay! Deck Building 101 In Star Wars The Deck Building Game, players start with a basic deck of 10 cards that provide resources and low-level units. They use these resources to purchase new cards and improve their deck. Paying attention to card abilities and opponents' purchases is crucial for creating a strategic deck and countering their strategy. As the game progresses, players aim to generate more resources and launch stronger attacks by adding powerful cards to their deck while removing the weaker ones, or ones that aren't tailored to your specific strategy. The Balance of the Force The Balance of the Force track is used to monitor the shifting balance between the Empire and the Rebels in a game, and card abilities that use the phrase, if the Force is with you, can only be used if the Force marker is on one of the three spaces on your side of the track. When a player gains force, they move the force marker towards them, and if it's all the way to their side on the start of their turn, they gain an additional resource they can use that turn. If the force is neutral, ain't nobody got no force. Card Anatomy Unit Resource Cost Attack Damage Resources Generated Force Generated The Title Unique Symbol Traits Ability Attack Required to be Defeated During Bounty Hunting and Sabotage Reward for Defeating This Card in the Galaxy Rope Base. Faction, unique symbol and name, ability, and hit points. Capital Ship. The resource cost, attack damage, resources generated, the name, and hit points. Faction Affiliation. Star Wars The Deck Building Game is a battle game between Empire and Rebel factions, each with their own characters, vehicles, and bases, as well as neutral cards that can be purchased by both sides. Playing the Game. The game is played in turns where the Empire takes the first turn, followed by the Rebels, and the game ends when one player destroys three of their opponent's bases. If you're playing an extended game or a shorter game, that may change depending on the variants you may use at the end of this video. Beginning of turn. At the beginning of each turn, if your base was destroyed, select a new base card, gain a resource if the force is on your side, and collect resources from each capital ship in play. Taking a turn. On your turn, you can do any or all of the following in order of your choice as many times as you are able and would like to. Play a card, purchase a card, use a card ability, commit to an attack, resolve an attack, and end your turn. Play a card. To play a card, place it face up in front of you. Collect any resources it may provide and move up the force track if it has a force value. Note that unit cards will be discarded at the end of your turn, but capital ships will stay in play. Purchase a card. To purchase a card, choose either a neutral card or one matching your faction from the galaxy row. Pay the resource cost, then place it in your discard pile, unless otherwise noted by the card itself or another card in play. Then immediately replace the purchase card with a new one from the galaxy deck. Use a card ability. Once a card is in play, you may optionally activate its ability once per turn. Resolve as much of the ability as you can, while ignoring the rest, then tilt it slightly to remind you that it's been activated this turn. Note that you can still use it to attack later if it has an attack value. Commit to an attack. 
You can commit units and capital ships to attack your enemy's base. You can also attack enemy cards in the Galaxy Row to gain rewards, but you can't use capital ships for this type of attack. This is called bounty hunting for the Empire and sabotage for the Rebels. Group together the cards you want to commit to an attack and place them in front of the cards you want to target. Be sure to maintain their orientation to remind yourself if its ability has been used. Each card can commit to one attack per turn. Resolve an attack. Attacks can resolve against an opponent's base or against cards in the galaxy row through bounty hunting or sabotage. Attacking a base. To resolve an attack against an opponent's base, total the attack value of your committed units and capital ships. Take that many damage counters from the supply and apply them as follows. Destroy all of your opponent's capital ships first, distributing damage as desired. If you have remaining damage counters, apply them to your opponent's base. When the number of damage counters on a base equals or exceeds its hit points, the base is destroyed and placed at your end of the force track. Any excess damage is returned to the supply as your opponent won't choose a new base until the beginning of their next turn. After resolving an attack against an opponent's base, keep the participating cards together as a reminder that they have attacked and cannot be committed to a second attack during this turn. Bounty Hunting and Sabotage Bounty hunting and sabotage attacks are the same type of attack in the game. Each factioned unit in the Galaxy deck has a target value and reward listed on the bottom of the card. To resolve one of these attacks, target a card in the Galaxy row from the opposing faction and total the attack value of your committed units. If the total attack value is equal to or greater than the target value, the attack is successful. You may now optionally receive the reward and discard the defeated card to the Galaxy discard pile and replace it with the top one from the Galaxy deck. Excess attack value is lost and no damage is placed on the targeted cards. If the total attack is less than the target value, nothing happens. You just wasted your time, man, I tell you. What? End of turn. At the end of your turn, discard all unit cards from play. Return your base capital ships to proper orientation, put back your resource counters to the supply, discard any remaining cards in your hand, and draw five cards from your deck. If your deck is empty, shuffle your discard pile to reform your deck and continue drawing. Winning the game. The first player to destroy the predetermined amount of bases, three for your first game, or four for the standard game, the game immediately ends and they win. Yay! Strategies. This game allows you to develop many different strategies, but one of the most important things I found out the hard way was to try to destroy the strong cards in the galaxy before your opponent can get to them. Once they are in rotation, they can continuously deal big blows to your forces. So get them out of there. You can get out. If you find your own cool strategies, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. For real, not just to feed the algorithms. I can't seem to find a way to win this game. <laughs> Advanced game modes. Full Galaxy. This is the way the game is intended to be played by experienced players. Each player begins the game with all 10 base cards beginning with their starter base. It is recommended to play to 4 bases, but you can shorten it to 2 or lengthen it to 5 if you want. Secret Bases Each player begins with their starter base and secretly chooses 4 more bases. You can adjust the length of the game as you wish, but it is recommended to play to 4 bases. 2 vs 2 Multiplayer there is a multiplayer mode that you can download on Fantasy Flight's website. Check the description for a link. If enough people comment wanting to know how to play 2v2, I'll make a video on that later. We need 1 million billion people who want it. Well, I ain't doing it. Optional rules. Adjusting the game length. The recommended length for experienced players is destroying 4 bases. However, feel free to shorten the game to 2 or even extend it to 5 if you want a longer game. Paying off neutral cards. You normally can't attack neutral cards in the Galaxy Row, but if you want to prevent your opponent from getting them without adding them to your deck, you can pay them off by paying its resource cost and discarding it to the Galaxy Row discard pile. It's kind of spiteful, but you gotta do what you gotta do. The end. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe below. Also, let us know what you thought in the comments, and if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, put them there too. If you like looking at pictures, follow Board Game Tutorials on TikTok and Instagram. Also, check out our website at BoardGameTutorials.com and sign up for our newsletter. May the Force be with you, always.